The U.S. Supreme Court handed President Donald Trump a major political victory on Tuesday. It ruled to uphold his travel ban on people from several Muslim-majority countries. The legislation had been declared unconstitutional by the lower courts. But the top U.S. court voted 5-4 to four to revive the ban, despite sharp criticism from human rights groups. Neil Gorsuch was one of the five conservative justices who voted in favor of the president's favorite travel ban. Gorsuch was appointed to the top court by Trump last year. And now he is helping ensure that the president gets what he wants. The Democrats say the recent vote in favor of the Muslim ban has made clear the full consequences of the Republicans' quote, unprecedented theft of a Supreme Court seat. The Democrats and the Republicans are now engaged in a new tug of war over another Supreme Court seat. A major political battle is ongoing in the U.S. over the replacement of the Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy. The 81-year-old has announced that he will retire in July. Kennedy was a conservative justice, but earned a reputation as the Supreme Court's swing vote because he sided with his liberal colleagues on some key issues like abortion rights. His retirement will now give President Donald Trump an opportunity to replace him with a more reliable conservative justice. Um, he could have waited until after the election, but he chose to step down in July. I personally don't understand the rush for him to step down other than to ensure that Trump's nominee gets appointed because right now the Republicans hold the Senate and they need Senate confirmation. If after the elections the Republicans lose the majority, they will not be able to uh, get the person through that Trump supported or that Trump nominated. The U.S. president says that he has launched an immediate search to replace Kennedy. He will be missed, uh, but he will be retiring and we will begin our search for a new justice of the United States Supreme Court that will begin immediately. The Republican camp seems to be in a bit of a hurry to fill the seat and shape the court's course for decades. That's because the Republicans currently control the Senate, which votes to confirm Trump's choices. But the Republicans could lose their Senate majority after November's midterm elections. The Democrats have warned that they will not tolerate any nominee from Trump's current list of candidates. The Senate should reject, on a bipartisan basis, any justice who would overturn Roe v. Wade or undermine key health care protections. The Senate should reject anyone who will instinctively side with powerful special interests over the interests of average Americans. Since taking office, the U.S. president has been especially forceful in trying to get what he wants. Trump's opponents have pinned their hopes on the Supreme Court to put the brakes on his aggressive campaigns. But by trying to make the court more firmly conservative, Trump is making sure that his agenda will not face any obstacles. Critics have warned that Trump's tactics are threatening American values. They're worried that Trump, whom in their view lacks the most basic knowledge of American civics, is shaping the U.S.'s highest court. His stepping down will mean that Trump will have another appointee. And it is true that Trump says things that are outrageous in terms of our democratic principles. For example, a few days ago, he said that people who come into this country uh, without visas, for example, should be at, at the border, should be immediately deported and you know, prosecuted and deported without due process, without a judge, without a jury, without judicial review. That's against the law of the land. That's against the U.S. Constitution. The Trump administration and the conservative camp are now preparing for a major clash with the Democrats over the president's next Supreme Court nominee.